hey guys, uh, Aki here. Uh, let me be the first to say, uh, finally, finally, I needed this game so badly, and it is so good. It is just ridiculous. Let's do this. Uh, I'm finding it kind of tough, you know, getting used to new maps and stuff, but I have just really been enjoying the change of pace that we've had here, and... Uh, I'm having a great time. Uh, so, this game, uh, I was playing some free for all on Afghan. Oh, not Afghan, Afghan. Using the SCAR uh, with Sleight of Hand Pro stopping power and steady aim. And then also the first machine pistol you get. I don't even know the name of it. Uh, SCAR is a great gun. I really like it. It's enjoyable. Kind of like the. M4 and Call of Duty 4, except it kills a little quicker. Uh, I gotta say, I love machine pistols. I think they're unbelievable. There's no snipers are no longer gonna be easy targets if you get up close to them, unless like they used to be in COD 4, because they can whip out one of those things and just ruin you. And they're just as strong as an SMG. I, I really don't think they made them weaker at all. And there's no need for a second gun. You'll notice towards the end of this game, I just run around with my uh, machine pistol the entire time. And that is, right there, is how you call in a care package. Because it is extremely easy to attract people to them, and then you get a free kill along with the reward of it. Uh, I think uh, with kill streaks wise, this game I was rolling with uh, UAV, uh, airdrop, and then uh, Harriers. I think Harriers are unbelievably good. There, uh, for them, what you get, you get an airstrike like the old one in COD 4, and then they stick around. I think one one of them sticks around and they act as a helicopter like the ones that were in COD 4 and they're just pure rape that's the only way to describe them They, I got them twice in this game I think and I tore these people apart my final score was 30 and 1 so uh, I got lucky a couple times with some good uh, uh, good care packages. See, this is me calling in the uh, Harriers. And that's the last time I die. But I also, this game, I managed to pick up uh, a uh, turret. Oh, I can't remember the name. Uh, I'll mention it when it comes up. But uh, Oh, a sentry gun. That's what it's called. And I managed to call one of those in. Uh, it did a great job, too. They didn't manage to destroy it. So, it did some good work. Here you can see the Harriers going a little nuts. Just getting me kill after kill. Uh, still still have the tactical layout. I think I've done all my prone shot challenges already. From all the drop shotting I've been doing. Uh, also, I'm noticing the guns kill a lot faster too in this game. It's here, uh, I'm looking, I see. A, I saw a care package on the map with my UAV. I'm trying to find this guy. He's hiding in the grass. I can't, and then I eventually take him out. So you have to be really careful when you're calling in your care packages because people can see where they are. So I tend to wait a sec before uh, I uh, go and pick mine up. You can hear footsteps. See, uh, as soon as I drop mine in, the guy came after it. So I tend to wait a sec, someone shows up, take them out. I, I can, norm, most of the time, if they're anywhere near the care package, I can hear them. I See, this is when I got the sentry gun. Th this wasn't very good placement because there was no one really around here. It got me a couple kills, though. But see, here I, I had low ammo, and I just pulled out the Glock. That's what the machine pistol's called. And yeah, I had no problems with it. It's basically an SMG with a... Actually, no, the ship's not, the clip's not even short. So. Get lucky there. One of those guys should have killed me. The sentry gun just got a kill. So I don't, I don't, I, I'm 
close to winning the game now. I've got another Harrier. Call that in. So right now I've got uh, my Harriers in the air, and then also a Sentry gun. See, I think one the Sentry and the Harriers both got kills. Uh, the, this game is kind of unfair. When you, in this game, when you get the kill streaks, it's unbelievably fun. But when you're on the wrong side of it, it's not pretty. And that happened to me in Team Deathmatch before when I was playing by myself. I think I'm going to stick to Mercenary TDM when I'm playing alone because it can be quite annoying getting killed by AC-130s and helicopters. And they're the Harriers getting my last kill there. But my advice is to stick to free-for-all if you're not in a party or Mercenary TDM because you will get railed by the other team's killstreaks over and over again. Uh, see you later, guys.